So our next step will be to go to mainactivity.java and inside the mainactivity.java we are going to initialize our toolbar. So let us initialize our toolbar. Now to initialize the toolbar always import android.support.v7.widget. So this will provide the support for API version 7 and above. Clear? So let's say find view by id r.id.toolbar. Let us type cast it or enter. Fine. Now our next step will be to set support action bar. Now what we're going to do, we are going to use toolbar as an action bar. So that is why, as I told you in the previous slide, toolbar acts similar to action bar, but toolbar is actually a view group. Its super class is a view group and it behaves like a view group. Clear? So guys, as of now, let us run our application and let's check out what output we are getting. So here we go, our app is running. Now you can check out this is our overflow menu and this is our Android toolbar default title. Now guys, if you click on this, you will see a settings menu, which is the default menu inside our menu.xml. While creating the application, this menu is by default created for you. Item settings, which you can clearly see right here. Fine. Now guys, let me go to styles.xml and let me correlate what we have done here. Now here, this text color primary 000 is actually the color of this Android toolbar text and this text color secondary is, is actually providing color to this overflow menu. Clear? If you want to check, you can just give it a value, let's say F00, which is actually red. Now let us run our application again and let's see the difference. Now our application is again running. Now this time text color secondary I have set to this red color. So that is why our overflow menu icon is appearing red. So in this way guys, you can customize your toolbar. Now let us go to our main activity and set the title. Let's say toolbar dot set title. Let's say home page clear. Now let's say toolbar dot set subtitle. Let's say welcome, welcome user, right? So this is going to set the title as home page and set, set the subtitle as welcome user. Let us explore a few other possibilities. Let's say toolbar dot. Now here you can see bunch of options are here. Set title, set logo. Let's say set logo, set logo description, set menu, set navigation icon, etc, 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 etc. All these stuffs you can apply to your toolbar. Now guys, we can set the toolbar dot set navigation icon. So r dot drawable dot ic underscore drawer. Now this is the image that I have placed inside my drawable folder. This image clear. So let me do one thing. Let me write toolbar dot set navigation content description. Now this actually this statement is actually useful for visually impaired people. So it is always recommended to set the content description of any image. So let us type navigation icon clear. Now at this point of time, let us run our application and let's check out what is the output. So here our app is running with our navigation icon in front of you. Now here is our overflow menu. As we saw earlier, here is our subtitle and this is our title of our application. But here I have set toolbar dot set title as home page but it is not showing as home page. So let us do one thing guys. Let us write get support action bar dot set title home page. Now let us run our application and see the output. So here our app is again running with our home page text set in our toolbar. Now this is because guys we have set set support action bar as a toolbar. So toolbar is behaving like an action bar. So I have written this get support action bar dot set title home page. So in this way guys, you can also toolbar dot set logo. You can do this and logo description, whatever you can do, you can do this toolbars toolbar dot set long click listener on long click listener and many other attributes you can apply such as on touch listener set padding and blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuffs are here. 
all these stuffs you can apply to the toolbar and customize your toolbar. So for your reference inside the styles.xml I have put all these comment lines for you so that you guys while making the application won't get confused while applying all these themes. Clear? So please don't confuse it guys. I have just customized the theme. This is the base theme and this is the theme of our custom toolbar. Clear? And inside the activity main.xml like similar to layouts or any other widgets I have implemented this toolbar with a custom schema. Fine. So nothing great. So catch you guys in next video and in the further videos I will again play more with the toolbar with our contextual action bar and also we will check out the floating action menu. So please comment on this video, like this video, share this video and help us to grow so that we can come up with more such videos for you. Thank you.